Good day everyone, my name is Kakin Gate Akta Batabo, a first year Bachelor of Science and Nursing student, Section B of Negus Oriental State University, Main Campus 1. In our today's return demonstration, it will be our oral care or the mouth care of our conscious patient and unconscious patient. So mouth care is defined as the scientific care of our mouth and teeth that prevents the spreading of infections and diseases in our mouth. It provides comfort and promotes the health and well-being of our client. So the purposes of this, it maintains the health of our mouth, gums, teeth, and lips. It removes food particles around and between our teeth. It removes dental plaques. It prevents sores and infections in our oral tissues. It prevents the mucous membrane from becoming dry. It stimulates our appetite and it relieves discomfort resulting to halitosis. And lastly, it promotes the client well-being and health. So before we proceed out to our procedure, let me first introduce to you the things that we will be needing. The first procedure that we will be doing is the oral care for our conscious patient. Now the things that we will use for our conscious patient are our toothbrush with soft bristles, our toothpaste, our mouthwash, and our dental floss. You also have our gloves our tissue, our 70% rubbing alcohol to disinfect our hands. We have here our pen light. We will use this to see clearly the condition of our patient's mouth. And we have here our tongue depressors to check our patient's gag reflex. We have here our kidney for emesis basin, this will be used to catch the used water and irrigation water. We have here our washcloth, our face towel, our bath towel to protect our patient and the beddings from getting wet. We have here the bigger basin where we will put all the used water. We have our pitcher of water and our cups and I'm done introducing to you the things that we will use for our conscious patient we can now begin to start our procedure first let's identify the activity ordered so the activity ordered will be oral care to our conscious patient now let's assess the capability of the patient to do self-care May buntag ma'am, so naata aron diri sa ospital kay may hilanat ta and the current na to nga temperature kay 38 degrees Celsius. So mag oral care ta ron ma'am which means mag toothbrush ta. So kaya ba nato na mag toothbrush or kita ra or hindi pa? Since our patient currently has a fever and feels weak, we must assist our patient. Now let's determine if there are any um, dental plaques, bridge work, or a partial plates in our patient's teeth as well as Let's check if there are any gag reflex, infection in the gums, in the mucous membrane, the dentures or not, we must check our patient's mouth. Now we must check our patient's mouth using the pen light to see clearly. As we can see our patient, um, teeth and gums is clear. Now let's check the gag reflex of our patient using the tongue blade. Sila sa takang mo na ma'am. Tingnan lang kung kasok ka on ka ma'am ha. Dali dapat ma'am dali ra. So our patient shows no signs of gag reflex. Now let's assess the patient if there are any oral cures done and any um, cultural traditions. So ma'am, batot brush tano and napabatay laing other activities like weekly sa dental clinic or the kontradik bani sa tong religion. So since we are done in our assessment, now let's go to the planning. Now let's determine the assistance needed by the patient. I've already um, assessed earlier that the patient currently has a fever and feels weak and we must assist our patient in doing the oral care. Now we've already obtained the um, equipments beside us in order to have an easy um, access and systematic procedure.
Now, we can now begin by starting and washing our hands or disinfecting it with 70% rubbing alcohol. Now, let's disinfect our hands with 70% rubbing alcohol to eliminate microorganisms. Next, let's identify our patient for the implementation. May buntag, may buntag na itong pangalan. May katabutabo. Check on po na ako ha. Ako dahi si Nurse ma'am. Now, let's explain the procedure to our patient. So ma'am, ang procedure na turun is mag-toothbrush na sa atong bagba. And since um, hinilanat pa sa ubi pa na ito, kaya ako ang mag-assisting mga kailan na ma'am. Para ni sa itong bagba ma'am, para ma-eliminate itong mga food particles na nabili na makakos o mga um, tooth infection ma'am. Will it be okay? Now, let's provide privacy to our patient in order for the environmental factors to not hinder our patient's comfort. Since our bed cannot be um, adjusted, we must put another pillow to have a semi fowler's position in order to have an easy access to our patient's mouth and to be our patient to be comfortable in our procedure. Kung pwede sa kaisa gamay, hidungagan ko niya ang ulan para makaisa sa mga. Pwede ka, isa sa ulan. If the patient can do self-care um, in doing oral care, we must assist in brushing and assisting. But since our patient um, needs assistance, you must be the one to do the brushing and flossing, but with the cooperation of our patient in opening her mouth and gur gurgling to rinse the mouth. Now, let's um, put a bath towel in our patient's chest. This is to protect our patient in getting wet as well as the belly. Please sit up a isa, good mom. We're going to put it on the mom's back. Now, let's put the gloves and other protective gear. This is to avoid getting in contact and other bodily fluids of our patients. Put our mask. And our gloves. Now, let's moisten our toothbrush with soft bristles with water. Now, let's put water in our cup from the pitcher. Now, let's put toothpaste. Now, let's soften our toothbrush using water and let's put toothpaste. Now, we will let, we will let our patient rinse her mouth with water in order to um, remove particles before we do our brushing. Mug mug lang ma'am. Dawa lang ma'am. Now let's put the emesis basin under our patient's chin. 
Now let's do our brushing. Uh, 45 degrees to our patient's bum Make sure that um, you are not doing back and forth in this part. Our incisors, incisors part. We will only do back and forth. We will only do the back and forth motion in our molars, in our biting area. Now in our barking areas, back and forth. Maybe that's a big one, ma'am. Now on the other side. Above. Now let us let our patient rinse with water. Now let's clean our patient's tongue. So I've already removed the um, water to our baker basin. Now let's clean the tongue of our patient. The tongue, ma'am. Ako lang mo sad, ma'am. Make sure that we are um, cleaning the tongue of our patient without triggering any gum reflex. Now we are done in brushing our patient's teeth. Let's let's um let our patient in rinsing her mouth. Okay, let's wipe our patient's mouth. Okay, na atong tumatag na. Now, let's do the flossing. Now we are done in brushing the teeth of our patient. We can now floss our patient with dental floss. Now let's get a good amount or good length of our dental floss thread. Cut. Now wrap it in the middle finger as well as the other side and have our point finger and our thumb to take control in maneuvering the thread. And make sure that while we are threading, we must check first if there are any um, easily, uh, if our patient's gums can easily bled. So mom, uh, with Dali lang ba ta ma kanang madugoan og gums kung natay mga like magkaunta or manut brush ta dili ra So now let's uh, thread our patients um between of the uh, teeth and make sure that we are not jumming it right away 
for it will severe the gums of our patient. Taka nga nga, ma'am. Nga nga pa, ma'am. Slowly spreading our patient between each tooth. Okay, ma'am, nga nga. Okay, pero ito kang nalasa. Dilera, sakit, ma'am? Dilera. Nalasa kang nalang, ma'am. Sa babaw, ma'am? Bili na itong mga na itong lips. Pataas. Can I? Okay. Taas, ma'am. Taas. Tikas, ma'am. Ito mo nga nga sa tangan dito. Wala na yung ano, ma'am? Like mga gaklag sa between sa tong ipon. Now we are done in doing the flush to our patient. Now let's discard it. And we've made earlier a paper waste receptacle. Now let's completely rinse our patient's mouth. Now let's um, give mouthwash to our patient to thoroughly rinse and clean the mouth. Okay na ma'am. Needed pa ta ma'am. Wasa, dili na. Now, let's apply moisturizer to our patient's lips. Ah, ito ma'am. Okay na ma'am. Wala rata na basa sa may liog. Kaya ako na i-remove ito ano ma'am. Let's tawel. Put it in the hamper. And then... Okay na ito sa itong posisyon ng or magpaubos lang ka. Abos lang sa iyo. Okay na na ma'am. Now, and we are done in brushing and flossing our patient's mouth. We can now remove our gloves and dispose it. Now, let's do aftercare on the things we've used. Let's wear new gloves and disposing the things we've used.
Now we are done in brushing and flossing our patient's mouth. And we are also done in doing aftercare and the equipment that we use. Now let's disinfect our hands with 70% from alcohol. Next, let's inspect our patient's mouth if there are any particles or food particles that was not removed. Let's inspect for any abnormalities in the gums, in the teeth, in the tongue, in the lips. After the procedure, taking our hand line. Pidita ka nga nga So as you can see, we've already checked our patient's mouth and there are no um, food particles left, nor any abnormality. Now let's observe our patient's discomfort or are there any gagging during our procedure. Ma'am, kumusta man ang ato ang pamina after sa tong oral care? Okay lang yun. Ah, uh, ganina ba ma'am samtang gatot brush ta? Nakapil ba tag kadikwaon tungon sa pag... Um, butang sa toothbrush. Here. Now, we are done in our evaluation. We can now proceed to our documentation. Let's record in our nurse's notes, our oral activity given, the patient's response, and our assessments, our findings, any problems, and the procedures done in our nurse's notes. If there are any on problems noted, we must report it to the assigned physician of our patient. Now, we are done in giving oral care to our conscious patient. There were no problems noted after the procedure and our patient does not give any signs of discomfort. Now, let's proceed in giving oral care to our unconscious patient. Now, let me introduce to you the things that we will use for our unconscious patient. Still, we will be using our toothbrush with soft bristles, our toothpaste, our mouthwash, and our dental floor. We have our new gloves, our tissue, our 70% rubbing alcohol to disinfect our hands, and we have our pen light. We will use this to see clearly our patients. We have our pitcher of water and our cup. And since we do not have a suction machine or a console tip suction, we will use syringe 10 cc as an alternative. And we have here our tongue blades our tongue depressor to use to open our patient's mouth since our patient is unconscious and we will use this also in checking our patient's gag reflex and it has a gauze above it we have our kidney basin or emesis basin to catch the used water and irrigation water we have our wash cloth, our face towel, and our bath towel. This is to protect our patient and the beddings from getting wet. And we have our bigger basin to put the used water. And since our patient is unconscious, we will be uh, doing the procedure. So with that, we will use mask and goggles and since we do not have goggles we will use facial this is to protect ourselves from getting microorganisms unwanted microorganisms spreading the infection and protecting ourselves from getting in contact of the bodily fluids now i've already introduced to you the things that we will be needing we can now begin and doing oral care to our unconscious patient to start our next procedure, first let's identify the activity ordered. So the activity ordered will be oral care to our unconscious patient. Now let's determine if there are any dental plaques, bridge work, washer plates to our patient's mouth, and as well as let's check if there are any inflammation in the mucous membrane, infection in the gums, in the teeth, lips, and mouth. Now 
with dentures or not, we must check our patient's mouth. Using the pen light and our tongue blade with gauze above it to check our patient's mouth. So our patient's mouth is clear. Now let's um, proceed in our planning. For our planning, we are already done obtaining the things that we will use. And it's on the bedside near the bed in order to have an easy access and systematic procedure. Now to start, first let's wash our hands or disinfect it with 70% rubbing alcohol. Now, let's identify our patient and explain the procedure. Even if our patient is unconscious, our patient's ears are still active, so we are still gonna um, identify our patient, explain the procedure, and introduce ourselves. So, my buntag, ma'am. Ako si Nurse Kate. Musagin na itong pangalan. Ako yung tag, ma'am. Laika sa batabo. So, ang atong procedure, ma'am, is maghatag tag oral care and since Sa atong bed and since unconscious ta, I will be the one in assisting you in doing oral care. Now, let's provide privacy to our patient by closing the curtain and our screen light. Now, let's assist our patient in a side-lying position in order to have an easy access of our patient's mouth since our patient is unconscious and also to avoid our patient from choking, unconsciously choking from water. If we have a suction machine, we must turn it on after we have put in a sideline position our patient. But since we do not have suction machine or tonsil tip suction, we will be using our 10cc syringes to a substitute for the suction. Now let's put towel under our patient's mouth. This is to protect our patient from getting wet and the bedding also from getting wet. Now, let's put emesis basin under our patient's chin. Now, we must uh, soften our 
um, toothbrush and put toothpaste but first let's put a tongue blade padded tongue blade in our uh, patient's mouth in order to hold it open First, um, let's check the gag reflex of our patient. Now, let's use this to open our patient's mouth. Now let's put the paste in our toothbrush, stopping the result. Now position the position the uh, brush into 45 um, angle, 45 degree, and to the gum line and do the circular motion. brush back and forth the um, biting areas above it Now let's clean our patient's tongue. Make sure not to trigger the gag reflex of our patient. Now we are done brushing our patient's uh, mouth. Now let's draw 10 ml of water in the syringe. Syringe our patient's mouth.
if there are any fluids inside our patient's mouth, we must suction it thoroughly. Make sure to wipe all the fluids around our patient's mouth. We are done in brushing our patient's uh, teeth and we've already removed the emesis basin. Now, to clean the oral cavity of oral tissues of our patient let's use this padded tongue blade moisten it and I will moisten it using our mouthwash now let's clean our the patient's oral cavity oral tissues using this um, padded of gauze tongue blade moistened with mouthwash I use mouthwash to moisten our gauze now let's clean our patient's oral cavity. Now we are done cleaning the oral tissues or oral cavity of our patient. We are done removing the emesis basin. Now let's dry our patient's um, face and put lip moisturizer. Now after this, let's put the soil bath towel to the hamper and then let's reposition our patient. Now, we are done in brushing the teeth of our unconscious patient. Now, let's remove our gloves and put it in the waste receptacle. So, disinfect our hands. <coughs> now, let's check if there are any. Um, let's inspect the gums, the tongue, the teeth and lips of our patient and see for abnormalities if there are any bleeding, inflammation, hydration or infection occurred after the procedure. Now we are done checking our patient's mouth and our patient is free from any abnormalities after the procedure. Now let's observe the patient for discomfort or any um, gagging situation. Mga comfortable at ang mga. ko sa itong procedure ma, thank you. We are done in assisting our patient, our unconscious patient, in um, doing the oral mouth care. Now, for our documentation, let's document the oral care given, the patient's response, and any assessments, findings, and the procedures done after we've given our oral care and record it in our nurse's notes. 
and if we noted any problems, we must report it to the assigned physician. Now let's do aftercare of the thing we have used. Now, we are done in giving the oral care to our unconscious patient. After the procedure, there were no problems noted or reported, and there were no signs of discomfort from our patient. I am also done showing with you the oral care for our conscious patient. This has been Kat and Kate after Butabo. I hope you enjoyed our today's return demonstration. Thank you very much. Stay safe and goodbye.